Hey guys, I wanted to do a video that has been requested countless times on my channel. It is highly requested with some of my luxury subscribers out there and I really want to give you what you want. So today I am going to review my two Van Cleef and Art Pals necklaces, the Magic Alhambra Green Malachite and Magic Alhambra Mother of Pearl with White Gold. Let's get started. <laughs> Oh God, it's getting redundant. Guys, I'm so happy to be back with another video because I love making videos for you guys. But these kind of videos are always a little strange for me. When it comes to especially like fine jewelry handbags and all that stuff, like these are things I talk about on my channel, right? So I have to expect that you guys are gonna wanna see collection videos. Um, but sometimes it's a little out of my comfort zone. Sometimes I don't want to just put it all out on display. I will review things as requested. You know what I mean? So like I'm not I'm not going to do like a whole collection, but I will do things as requested. So I know you guys a lot of you love my Van Cleef necklaces. So I will review them for you. By the way, when you guys ask for a review, I don't really know what you mean by review. I mean it's a necklace and I wear it. Like what's really to review? It's not like an app I'm trying out or a book review. <laughs> it's a necklace. So there's not much to review, but I will tell you all the things that I love about the necklaces, which are everything because I absolutely adore them. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with my white gold Magic Alhambra Mother of Pearl necklace. Now, I love this necklace so much. If you guys don't know, Magic Alhambra, there's, there's three sizes with the pendants. There's three sizes with the Vintage Alhambra. Vintage Alhambra are the clovers that you see, the iconic VCA Van Cleef clovers um, are the Vintage Alhambra collection. There's three sizes. The smallest size is the Sweet Alhambra, the most popular classic size is the Vintage Alhambra and Magic Alhambra, which is what I have and what I absolutely love. I'll tell you, this is my absolute favorite Van Cleef piece and I'll try and come in close to show you guys. Here's the thing about Van Cleef. Um, when you see the mother of pearl so perfect and like seamless, not very like rainbowish, like almost like so white, that iridescent, um, like you can only see that rainbow mother of pearl when you kind of move it under the light. It's just like the perfect slab of mother of pearl. So when you see pendants like this that are the pearl is kind of like wavy. You could see the rainbowish tone right away. That's usually not a Van Cleef piece. It's probably just like a piece that, you know, Van Cleef, a lot of jewelers are making Van Cleef style pieces. And hey, that's totally fine too. I've seen like Van Cleef style jewelry, you know, even the mall where it's just like, it's not even, it's not precious metal, but you know, people want to get the look for less. And I totally understand that as well. But you can tell when it's Van Cleef, right? Because it's just, it's really, really super perfect. It's perfect in every way. The edges of the mother of pearl, you can never, you can never find them. You can never see them. So with Van Cleef, you can really never, ever tell. It's just absolutely seamless and just beautiful. I love this necklace so much because I find it so classic and classy and so wearable on an everyday basis. Like I can wear this with pearls, not too fancy, but like still fancy enough. Like you can, you can wear it dressed up for sure. You can wear this black tie. You can wear this with jeans. That's what I absolutely just love and adore about the white gold mother of pearl magic Alhambra. Just beautiful. My absolute favorite piece. I'm actually going to wear it now because I love it so much. I hope I'm not boring you. <laughs> I never know like how to do these kind of videos. I'm like not a pro at YouTube, guys. It just, I love making videos for you guys. And sometimes I'll see other people's videos 
and they're just so professional and perfect and everything is so perfectly set up and it really is beautiful. It's a nice viewing experience. So <laughs> sometimes I really wonder how my videos are coming across. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't do this. Come on. Oh, we got her. <laughs> I'm just wearing this with, you know, a casual cotton sweatshirt and jeans. And it's just, it, it works. It's so casual, but it's truly my most wearable, luxury, fine jewelry that I own, I would say. Besides, of course, my wedding bands and stuff like that. And if you're wondering about the packaging, this is how it comes. Um, this beautiful box and then the Van Cleef box. Um, and, you know, has this little piece here where the necklace sits. This um, like suede or microfiber little piece. And I think this kind of, obviously it protects it, but I think like it also can clean it. No, I don't think that's what it does. Don't listen to me. Actually, because I remember them giving me, it's in my closet somewhere. I remember them giving me a, uh, like a silk cloth. So, you know, if you ever get like fingerprints on your pendants or your earrings or whatever, um, you just wipe it with that silk cloth. So I think this is just for protection. All right, so that is that. Um, I do feel like Van Cleef, in general, it's like you buy a Van Cleef piece, it's a lifetime piece. But um, the only reason why I would sell this is maybe to replace it with something just a little more for my lifestyle. But I probably won't, because I'm obsessed with it and I love it. And that is, and it's in the bag still, so I'll just show you the bag while it's in. Van Cleef Narpels. I have this little booklet that it came with. Um, and this has all the Perlay pieces. So again, this is the Alhambra collection. This is the Magic Alhambra. There's a Perlay collection that is, I mean, I mean. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Hello? You're something, aren't you? Something special. <laughs> you just want it all. I just want it all. I want it all. But I also don't want a divorce, so there's that. So the next necklace I want to show you is another Magic Alhambra necklace, but this is the Magic Alhambra yellow gold green malachite, and it's on a longer chain, and that's why it comes in this bigger box and bigger packaging, because the chain is substantially longer. And let's unbox it. It's not new. This isn't an unboxing, but I guess it kind of is an unboxing. <laughs> um, look how stunning. Just... I mean, they're, it's Van Cleef, so obviously it's going to be stunning. This is the packaging. And <laughs> it's like you really got to go through a process here. <laughs> Damn. Nope, still not there. <laughs> but it's here. Yes. So this is how it comes from the boutique. This is exactly, oh, sorry, it's kind of swinging here. This is exactly how it comes from the boutique. So this is green malachite, and this is again, magic Alhambra, single pendant. The difference between the white gold magic, a mother of pearl, and the yellow, is the yellow magic always comes on a long, uh, a much longer chain and it has the perlay detail on it. Man, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
I've worn this in a few videos and you guys have noticed and asked me about it and it truly is so, so special. The reason why I was thinking about selling it is because it's just not something that I can wear every day. I love my jewelry to be wearable. Of course I love those fine pieces that I can wear for like evening and stuff like that. Um, like I have these gorgeous um, magic diamond earrings and they're just not wearable for every day. Like it's a little crazy and I love having those. But this is just like, I don't know, kind of like you have to you have to have the right look to wear this and you can't wear it with absolutely everything. It is green malachite. And then, you know, if you are wearing white gold earrings, then this doesn't work. And so like there's various reasons why um, I would want like a yellow gold that's more wearable for daytime, more casual. Um, but again, I'm probably not going to sell it because I absolutely love it. And as I look at it, it's just so magnificent. What I love about the yellow gold is that you can wear it super long as a like a long pendant, which actually does make it more casual. However, the green malachite is very delicate. So I didn't know this when I purchased it. I think they should have told me this because it might have made me get like black onyx maybe instead of green malachite. Although green malachite is by far to me the most beautiful. I absolutely love black onyx as well. Green malachite is just like so exceptionally special and beautiful, but it is so fragile. So they told me that if I ever dropped this and if it cracked, if the malachite cracked and it's very easy to crack, you cannot shower with like you can you can get this wet. They tell you not to shower with it, but I'm telling you, I have a friend, she wears it in the shower every day. She never takes it off. She's been wearing it for years. It's always on. She has the smaller yellow gold pendant, the vintage Alhambra yellow gold mother of pearl. It's beautiful. It's classic. She never takes it off. She showers in it. She swims in it. Um, but you absolutely cannot do this with the green malachite. It will ruin. It's very porous. It's a porous stone. It's a fragile stone. If, um, sorry, and I'm going off on a tangent. They told me if I crack this malachite stone, the cost to replace the malachite is pretty much the exact same cost as the entire necklace. I don't know how that makes sense or adds up, but that's what they told me. And I've asked a few times, I've gotten a few different opinions from different sales associates, and they've all told me the same thing. It is very, very expensive. To sum up, the green malachite magic long chain, I love that you can wear it on a long chain. And then if you wanna wear it on a short chain, you double it up. So that makes the chain look really, really substantial and really, um, it's more striking. It's almost like it's more, it's more of a statement. You know what I mean? Cause you've got that doubled up gold chain. So it's very noticeable, it's very, um, striking, I guess you could say, like it's not flashy because it's so classy, it's Van Cleef, um, but it's very noticeable. And then you have that really like just breathtaking green malachite. So it is, it does make such a statement. Okay, so moving on to the price, the prices for these, um, cause I know you're gonna ask. <laughs> the mother of pearl, I was gonna buy it myself, but then my birthday was coming up, so I thought, oh, I might as well ask for it as a gift. So I did ask my husband to buy it as a gift, and that was three years ago, and it was $5,500 plus tax. So it came to around 6,000, and I'm talking about Canadian dollars. Since then, it has gone up in price. I'm very happy with it, it's beautiful, and I'm definitely gonna have this forever. One day I'll give it to my daughter. Um, and that's another reason why I kind of justify these crazy prices for jewelry because like it's gonna be forever. This is not going anywhere ever. You know, I have a daughter to give it to and I'm gonna wear it for a really long time. And yeah, I don't know if that's the best justification, but it helps. <sighs> Um, moving on to the cost of the green malachite magic. 
that was a lot more expensive. If you're looking at the mother of pearl yellow gold um, long chain, that's more expensive than this. When this was 5,500, I believe that the yellow gold mother of pearl was 6,500 or maybe a bit more. I think what it was is this was 5,000 and the, yes, that's what it was. This was 5,000, the yellow gold long chain with the pearlay um, mother of pearl was 6,500. I remember, I think that I'm pretty sure those were the prices. Since then, they've gone up. And for the green malachite, that was significantly more expensive at the time. That was like another extra $2,000 more than this plus tax um, because it's, it's more rare, green malachite. They always had very limited pieces of the green malachite because it's a more precious stone as well. It's more expensive, which is weird. This is more durable and it's um, less expensive than the more precious, more fragile stones. It's kind of weird how that works, but because of that reason, the malachite was a couple thousand more. So I think the price of that was just shy of $8,000 and now it's about $10,000 including tax current day price 2019 yeah they are really expensive but these aren't things you buy every day um, for me um, it's always like an occasion whether it's a birthday or something that i save up for or sometimes i sell a few of my own items and then buy one of these like really beautiful pieces because i really do love everything <laughs> but i really do value these pieces and I can't just buy them any day of the week so I do understand the value of them and I really do appreciate how special they are. So that's really it guys those are my two pieces you guys have really asked about those the most so I really wanted to make this video for you. I hope you enjoyed our little Van Cleef and our pals chat. If you're curious about anything within the Alhambra series I hope this helped. And most of all, I hope you guys enjoyed being here because I love your company. I love having you here. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you do because I do videos like this all the time, at least two times a week. And as always, I'll be back in a couple days with another really fabulous video for you. And I cannot wait to see you. I love you so much, guys. <laughs> I'm really sucking. I'm really not. I'm sucking at this outro really badly. <laughs> I do though. I love you and I can't wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now.